Altair. What brings you back so soon? I've done as asked and armed myself with knowledge. Speak, and I will judge. William Toast is large, and many men call him master. But he's not without enemies. He and King Richard do not see eye to eye. It's true, they've never been close. This works to my advantage. Richard's visit has upset you. Once the king has left, William will retreat into his fortress to brood. He'll be distracted. That's when I will strike. You're sure of this? As sure as I can be. And if things change, I'll adapt. Then I give you leave to go. End the life of Montferrat that we may call this city free. I'll return when the deed's been done. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. They did not say what they wanted from me, but I saw the darkness in their eyes. Sorry, I have nothing to offer in return for your sacrifice. But I shall see to it that my brothers know you are a friend. They would be held as prisoners, reduced to barter for the release of our men. The Saracens would not have honored their end of the bargain. You know this to be true. I give you a favor. <laughs> oh, yes. A great favor indeed. Now our enemies will be that much stronger in their conviction. Fight that much harder. 
I know our enemy well. They will not be emboldened, but filled with fear. Tell me, how is it you know the intentions of our enemy so well? You who forsake the field of battle to play its politics. I did what was right, what was just. You swore an oath to uphold the work of God, William. But that is not what I see here. No, I see a man who trampled it. Your words are most unkind, my liege. I would hope I might have earned your trust by now. You would act with reason, William, fit to rule in my stead. How much more trust is required? Perhaps you'd like my crown. You miss the point. This is nothing new. Mud says I'd like to waste my days trading words with you. I have a war to fight. We'll have to continue this another time. Do not let me delay you then, Your Grace. I fear there will be no place for men like him in the new world. Send word that I wish to speak with the troops. We must ensure that everyone is doing their part. Warn them that any negligence will be severely punished. I'm in no mood to be trifled with today. Yes, my lord. The rest of you, follow me. Things are at an end. What do you know of my work? I know that you are going to murder Richard and claim Akpa for your son Conrad. <laughs> for Conrad? My son is an art, unfit to lead his host, let alone a kingdom. Richard, the oath you know is no better. Blinded as he is by faith, in the insubstantial, Akra does not belong to either of them. Then who? The city belongs to its people. 
How can you claim to speak for the citizens? You stole their food, disciplined them without mercy, forced them into service under you. Everything I did, I did to prepare them for the new world. Stole their food? No. I took possession so that when the lean times came, it might be rationed properly. <coughs> Look around. My district is without crime, save those committed by you and your ilk. And as for the conscription, they were not being trained to fight. They were being taught the merits of order and discipline. These things are hard indeed. No matter how noble you believe your intentions, these acts are cruel and cannot continue. <laughs> we'll see how sweet they are, the fruits of your labor. You do not free the cities as you believe, but rather damn them. And in the end, you'll have only yourself to blame. You, who speak of good intention. Thank you. 